Hi, I'm Dr. Sonia Bizaccia. I'm a board certified family medicine physician here in Westchester, Pennsylvania. And by special request, I am going to talk about PCOS and GLP-1s. So um, really quick background, PCOS, for those of you who don't know, stands for polycystic ovarian syndrome. It's diagnosed by someone having two of these three diagnostic criteria. So one is cysts all over the ovaries when we do an ultrasound. Uh, two is hyperandrogenism, which means you're making more androgens than is normal, and that can manifest as uh, facial hair, hair in places, um, you know, more hair than usual, um, not just a couple little whiskers, um, and uh, or acne. Um, and then three is really irregular periods, so you're having periods all over the place or not at all. Um, those are considered diagnostic. We diagnose it by a constellation of symptoms. Um, so what we see in PCOS, it, we used to think of PCOS as kind of like everyone was overweight and infertile and you could help them by getting them to lose weight. So now we know that there can be uh, people who can have PCOS and be slender. Uh, people can have PCOS and have babies. Um, but, you know, a good majority of people with PCOS do have some level of insulin resistance. And so it can be very, very difficult for them to lose weight. Enter GLP ones. And so I know, you know, they're really big right now, really famous, but uh, physicians have been prescribing GLP ones for years. Um, and, you know, not just Ozempic and the newer ones, but like older ones too. I mean, I think Bayeda was one like 20 years ago. We've been using them for years. Um, and a lot of OB-GYNs have been. Uh, using them in their patients with PCOS, but now it's becoming even more to the forefront. I think especially as it's become famous for weight loss, people who are struggling with their weight who have PCOS are looking at it like, hey, could this be something that could help me? And they're right. <laughs> it can be something that can help you. Um, and so we see a fair number of, P of OB-GYNs who are treating patients with PCOS uh, use GLP-1s to help their patients lose weight and improve the symptoms of their PCOS and help them uh, you know, improve their fertility. So uh, it's definitely considered a, a good approach. And if you're someone who struggles with PCOS and your weight, it is something you should talk to your OB-GYN about or your PCP. Um, I hope that answers any questions. Also, I should always add any good physician who is prescribing GLP-1s is discussing diet, is discussing weight, uh, is discussing um, weight-bearing activities, weight-bearing exercise, because making muscle is important, staying on top of your protein is important, and uh, staying on top of your nutrition. The goal is to be strong. The goal is not to be skinny. The goal is to be strong. Okay, I hope that helps. Have a good day.